Well, hello, folks. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Calling. I uh, had a bit of a long day today. It was a, a long Tuesday uh, here in January. Nice day outside, but just one of those long days at work. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up a whiskey. Uh, you know, I had to, actually had to go to the dentist, get a cavity filled. On the way home, I had to go past the liquor store. I'm like, you know, I'm going to reward myself with a, with a new whiskey. So it's called, uh, I've never heard of it before, but it's called Ramper. And it's an, it's an Indian single malt whiskey. So a non-chill filtered. Um, open it up here. It's got this really kind of cool bag with a gold rope and everything else. It's kind of a cool looking bottle. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, different, uh, got some information here on, on, on the front. Um, saying here it is a, uh, um, Rampur is a princely state of British India worthy of the 15 gun salute. It's known for its rich heritage and royal traditions. As connoisseurs of great taste, the royalty of Rampur indulged in the pleasures of pursuing perfection. So, uh, yeah, it says it originated at Rampur Distillery. This exquisite whiskey bears fruity and spicy notes with a hint of vanilla and caramel. Um, it's, uh, uh, it is, um, it's got a little more description here too. It says, discover the aromas and flavors that depict the essence of a long Indian summer. And, uh, um, warm, appealing, long finish, generous and rewarding, it says. So yeah, this is interesting. And it says here, it's a vintage select casks. Vintage select casks, it says. So I'm not too sure exactly what that's all about. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give this a shot here and uh, and see what this is like. Uh, you know, the bottle, nice looking bottle as well. I mean, a lot of the same information here, I think, of course. Um, yeah, but it's got a nice color to it. It doesn't say that it's, assuming it's maybe colored, it doesn't say that it's not, so, but, um, but anyways, um, I think we're going to give this a little shot here to see what this is like. Let's see what it smells like. You know, it's got an interesting, almost, um, almost a, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, I think that vanilla, picking up some vanilla, I think. There's almost a little bit of a nice combination between sweet, almost a little bit plasticky smell in a way, or waxy, maybe a slight waxy smell. Not unpleasant though at all, it, it kind of in a nice way. Yeah, and a little bit of, uh, maybe a touch of fruitiness too. It, it's kind of got a nice combination between maybe a little bit of a sugary kind of sweetness, but also kind of a, uh, a little bit of a fruity sweetness at the same time. Kind of a nice balance between the two almost, I'd say. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. I hope you guys have a dram of your, of your own here tonight. Uh, you know, if you've got this, uh, enjoy it with me. Or if you've got anything else, uh, enjoy that as well. Uh, I'm kind of interested in trying something here from another part of the world. I've never tried whiskey from India. So it's kind of cool to, to try something from a totally different part of the world that I haven't really tried from before. So this, is, this, is, this should be great. Hmm. Yeah, first blush, there's sort, of, sort of some sweetness there. And kind of a little bit of a burn in the spice too, you know, kind of about halfway through the first sip. That kind of spice kicks in a little bit. Kind of nice, nice long finish to it too. It kind of settles in in a really nice way. Yeah, and again, that kind of just a little bit of almost a combination between between a maybe kind of a light brown sugar but also kind of a dry fruit kind of combination or something it's kind of got a nice balance to it that way so let's try another sip again there's kind of a smell i just can't quite place but it's almost a bit of a pleasant waxy smell if that's the best i can kind of describe here Hmm. 
yeah, it kind of just has a really nice, and there's actually quite a bit going on here, it kind of feels like. There, there's a lot of uh, some sugars, some different, some spice there for sure. So there's a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of everything kind of mixed in there, in, in a, a little bit of burniness, um, but it's kind of got a relaxed, mellow kind of, feel to it as well and it's kind of nice kind of a nice long finish like it kind of sits there in your throat you can still feel a little bit of the spice uh, and burning my throat a little bit you know this is almost the kind of an interesting combination it's, it's got it almost reminds me a little bit of a bourbon just a little bit but also kind of a uh, maybe a touch of scotch you know what you know the, an unpeated scotch feel to it mixed with a bourbon it's kind of an interesting kind of combination um yeah, and what do they say here again? They say, um, yeah, it says this exquisite whiskey bears fruity and spicy notes with a hint of vanilla and caramel. Okay, so, so the caramel must be that sweetness. So yeah, it's kind of got a nice combination between you know like caramel and and uh, and, uh, and some fruit as well. So it's kind of a nice balance to this. This is this is nice. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy settling into this bottle at some point. Um, very nice impression so far. Really, really nice. You know, I, I really hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, hope you're enjoying the dram yourself. And, uh, um, and if that's nice weather here in January, I hope that continues. Um, and uh, you know, kind of coming off Christmas here, eventually the spring should come around. So, anyways, have a great week, everybody. We'll talk to you soon, folks.